Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to go over how to find the LCM of three numbers. And this would actually work with four numbers once I explain how to do it. I like to use prime factorization, so let's get started. Five is already a prime number. Now we have for 15, let's go three times five, circle the prime, so we're already down to prime numbers. For 20, we'll go two times 10, circle two, because it's prime, then two times five. Um, now, I used to uh, use another technique, but I have just found this is the easiest thing if you're using prime factorization, and that is to make a chart. Okay? Then all we do is we write the numbers in the chart. So for 5, the prime numbers in the chart. So for 5, we have 5. Okay? I'll draw a chart like this. Next, for 15, I'm going to write this 5 underneath the 5, and then I'm going to write a... 3, and then for 20, I'm going to write the 5 under the 5. I don't have a 3, so I'm going to skip it. Then I have a 2 and a 2, okay? So what I tried to do was match up the numbers with what I have. So I took the 5 here, 5 here, and wrote them all in this column. Now all we do for the LCM is basically multiply these numbers together, but follow this rule. If you have two or three of the same numbers, you only bring down one. So I have three fives, so I'm going to bring down one five, one three, a two, and a two. Then all we do is multiply that together. So let's start doing that. Five times three is 15, times two is 30, times two is 60. Okay, so the LCM of 5, 15, and 20 would be 60. Let's work another example. Okay, so here we go. We have 2 times 6, circle the 2, 2 times 3. We're down to prime numbers there. 16 is 2 times 8, 2 times 4, and then 2 times 2 equals 4. Again, we're down to prime numbers. And then for 24... Let's draw it over here. 2, 12, 2, 6, circle the 2, and then 2, 3. Okay, so now we have all the prime numbers. Remember, we're going to draw a chart just like we did before. And this is what I really changed, and it's just made it so much easier drawing this chart. I'm going to do the 12. I'm going to go 2, 2, 3. Okay, now with 16s, I have lots of 2, so I'm going to write a 2, then a 2, and I'm checking them just so I don't make a mistake. I don't have a 3, so I'm going to skip over a 2 and a 2. And now for 24, I will do the same. I have a 2, a 2, okay? I do have a 3, so I'm going to place a 3 there, and then I have a 2. So I have got all the numbers. Now, again, if you have 2 or 3 in a column, you bring only bring down one. So I've got a 2, and a 2, and a 3, and a 2, and a 2. And then all you do is multiply this together. Let me move it up just a little bit. There's 4 times 3 is 12, times uh, 2 is 24, times 2 equals 48. Okay, so that is the... Uh, prime factorization of 12, 16, and 24. Okay, again, in summary, you create a factor tree for each number. You use this nifty chart. You write all the prime numbers in the chart and try to line up similar numbers. If you have three or even two in a column, you just bring down one, multiply that all together, bada boom, bada bang, you've got the LCM. I hope that helps with figuring it out how to find the LCM for three numbers, and it would also work for four. You just look for four in a column. Thanks, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.